Well, hello, hello, my friends. God bless you. Shaka Baba. Aloha from Hawaii. I'm in the beautiful island of Oahu, the beautiful islands of Hawaii. Amen. Be jealous. But you know what? You could be out here too. I mean, uh, you know, all you need is one flight or two flights to be out here in the beautiful land islands of Hawaii. Truly, it is called paradise over here for a reason. Amen. And the nation, the kingdom of Hawaii is truly a blessed place, a blessed people group. Amen. Listen, friends, I have some things I want to talk to you about today. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've seen you. I've missed you all. But as you're jumping on, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Let's build up this room, build up the algorithm, praise God, because uh, you already know that there's so much censorship and shadow banning that's taking place. So uh, will you begin to help me build up the room and the atmosphere today in the name of Jesus? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Let me know where you're watching from. Amen. I'm sure there's more than just seven people watching right now. Praise the Lord. Let me know where you're watching from. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. One of your favorite prophetic voices. And I know it's been a while. It's been some time since uh, I've done one of these lives. But I'm feeling uh, the stirring. I'm feeling the urgency of God. And uh, I know this is a now word, a Kairos word. It's fresh from the oven. Fresh from the oven of prayer. And uh, I have a word to share and to release over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. That's right. Give us some heart to like. Share, share, share. Because... We are in the month of April and I'm feeling prophetic alarms. I think if you're an intercessor, most intercessors right now, we're feeling a shift in the spirit. We're feeling alarmed. We're feeling alert, alert, alert. In fact, in the prophetic word of the month for April, I already talked about this uh, nearly one week ago. Of course, I released a prophetic word for April uh, last week. And, uh, you know, I, I felt in my spirit, alert, alert, red sirens, red alarms going off. And I think a lot of uh, intercessors and prayer wars, we're feeling this urgency right now. We're feeling this call to prayer, this need, this urgency to pray, to watch and pray, Jesus said. Amen. So there's a lot I want to say. And, uh, you know, because I haven't talked with you like this in a while. So continue to build the room. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Tag somebody. Share, share, share. Because this broadcast is strictly prophetic. Okay, we're, this is a very extreme uh, prophetic broadcast. And it usually always is. But because I haven't seen you or talked with you in a while, uh, I'm just going to lay it all out there. And it's going to connect and align. And it makes sense to you. Because the things of God not only appeal or awake our senses, but the things of God uh, are sense, right? It doesn't just make sense, but it is sense. And uh, so I believe today, prophetically, in the Issachar anointing, in the spirit of the Issachar oil, God's going to release revelation, understanding, dunamis power, and God's going to begin to awaken, quicken, and align some things in your life and your heart according to the release, the word of the Lord. If you believe it, say amen. Come on, continue to give some hearts and likes. Praise God. I want to give you some shout outs here today. Heather Robles, God bless you. From Maryland, Richard, Pastor Richard from Florida, love you. God bless you guys. Um, Savio Dezua, God bless you. Amen. Rabba Soto, yeah, uh huh. Savio Dezua, uh huh, okay. Morris from North Carolina, God bless you. I think that's a new name for me. Brother Juan Martinez, can't wait to see you guys in Dallas next weekend. Bless you. Watching from the Philippines, wonderful. I love the nation of Philippines. Fairfield, California, God bless. Atlanta in the house. Hallelujah. Shout out to Sonia Cabre, Lozada. Amen. Continue to comment below where you're watching from. Help me to build a room. This is a very urgent prophetic broadcast. And uh, the devil is a liar for wanting to obstruct and oppress the release of this breakthrough broadcast. Amen. Well, all right. Uh, hello, Emmy. God bless from Palau. Bless you. Well, let me just jump straight into this word today. All right. Praise God. Let me ask you this question. Are you feeling an odd of sorts? Of course, uh, on Resurrection Sunday, which many people call and know, know it as Easter. But of course, Resurrection Sunday, Joe Biden, the greatest warlock on earth today. Joe Biden, one of the greatest warlocks in America and on planet earth. Uh, Joe Shanghai Beijing Biden, he declared from the White House 
that uh, that March 31st, it is National Trans Visibility Day. All right, it's a day for uh, transgender spirits, for a transgender. It's it's day for the visibility of trans to be uh, out in public, out in the arena. Let's celebrate uh, the mutilation of bodies. Let's celebrate uh, biblical, uh, evil, judgmental Sodom and Gomorrah situation. Let's celebrate evil. Truly, we're in the days where they will call evil good and good evil. We're in the days of such demonic confusion. And we're in the days where there is such a delusion and a spirit of deception right now that's going rampant on the earth. So we understand that on the most holy day of the Christian faith, that of course, the biggest warlock on earth right now, his name is Joseph Biden. We understand that Joe Biden declared National Trans Day on the holiest day of the Christian faith and the devil is a liar, okay? So I know I'm saying a lot, I'm backtracking, but I'm connecting it all together. I believe because of this demonic declaration, because of this demonic evil declaration from the White House, that has now even more so opened up the door for a stronghold of demons, for an infestation of demonic activity. We understand in the last week in the United States, come on somebody, all right, we understand that uh, three bridges have just been crashed into or crashed through by cargo ships or ships. Now, this is not a phenomenon, my friends. This is all a strategic act against the United States of America. This is all a strategic act against the minds of people. Who here knows that fear sells? Who here knows that horror movies are the number one category of movie genres out of all the genres? Fear sells and the media, which is a lying medium spirit, right? Jesus is our medium and we shall have no other mediums in between us and the Lord or in between us and the spiritual realm. But we understand the media, which is a medium spirit, these lying, manipulating, witchcraft, conniving spirits, they're always trying to fear monger and keep us on our tippy toes because the globalists and the elitists are strategically planning a reset, a global reset, a worldwide takeover. But the devil is a liar and the enemy is being exposed because we, the church, are rising up. If my people who are called by my name, if they humble themselves, turn away from the wicked ways, if they repent, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Somebody say amen. So there's three bridges that's just been attacked in the last week in the United States. Okay, Joe Biden says National Trans Visibility Day. Oh, the devil is a liar on the holiest day of the Christian faith in the United States. Easter Sunday, of course, we don't call it Easter because of Ishtar Day, but Resurrection Sunday on the day where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. The, the capsicum, the capital defining moment that separates Christianity from every other religion. Can I get an amen? It's because he lives. My Savior lives, so I live tomorrow. Because he lives. Because Jesus defeated death. He took captivity captive because Jesus rose again from the third day, the sign of Jonah. Because Jesus lives as the Messiah, fulfilling prophecies and promises from hundreds and thousands of years. Because he lives. That separates the Christian faith from every other religion. Can I get an amen? So, and... Now we see that there is a release of demonic deception, of witchcraft. There's a release of violence and a spirit of lawlessness. Now, I'm going to do an extensive teaching on the spirit of lawlessness because we understand what's going on with this invasion of illegal immigrants in our country. And I know I'm talking a lot about America, but hear me. As America goes, so goes the world. What's going on in Haiti right now, my friends? All right, maybe you're not seeing a lot about it, but what's going on in the island nation of Haiti right now? All right, there is gang lords, drug lords that have overrun, overtaking Haiti right now, right? And now as there is this illegal invasion of immigrants coming to the United States, there's lawlessness taking place. Lawlessness taking place on the earth. There's crime, there's lawlessness, there's so much rampant lawlessness, and I'm gonna talk more about that uh, on my YouTube channel in the coming week. But why am I sharing all this? This is a buildup, hear me now. This is a buildup to the eclipse that's coming forth on April 8th. 
I'm going to do another teaching broadcast on my YouTube channel about the April 8th solar eclipse. So you can be on the lookout for that. Actually, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh, but all of this, hear me now. And of course, NASA is going to shoot three missiles, nukes, nuclear weapons into the eclipse. What the heck? What is going on? Are you kidding me? At the same time of the eclipse. Amen. So we understand that what's going on with these powers in the air, powers in the universe, power. I feel the Lord right now. Come on, y'all pray, intercessors. Y'all pray, people of God. And we understand what's going on with these powers because God says that the stars, sun, moon, the, these will be signs for you. Say signs. So what is the earth realm doing? They're trying to replicate, duplicate. They're trying to uh, pull on that power for their own demonic agenda. Why do you think the WEF is activating CERN again, same day on April 8th? That's right, my friends. This evil demonic portal, they are opening up again and activating again, same day as April 8th, the solar eclipse. Don't tell me that's not a coincidence, okay? These New Agers, these Kabbalists, these globalists, these Satanists, these satanic, ritualistic, demonized, demon-possessed warlocks and witches. They know what they're doing. They're trying to protract and attract and pull out that energy from that realm into this realm for a reason, okay? But let me tell you, Jesus lives. Let me tell you, Jesus is king. This is a perfect storm for your breakthrough. Can I declare this over you? Can I prophesy over you? This is a perfect storm for your breakthrough. This is a perfect setup for your breakthrough. God is setting something up in the supernatural because he always has a trump card up his sleeve. God has surprise, surprise. Come on, somebody. He always saves the best for last. And guess what? In his month of April, which is the month of Passover, April 22nd is Passover. Come on, somebody. If you're receiving, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. In his month of April, God is going to judge every Pharaoh spirit. Every Pharaoh spirit, let my people go. And the Lord began to tell me, my friends, that what we're experiencing right now, because listen, if you're spiritual or sensitive like I am, hear me. I need you to hear this, please. Come on, build a room right now because I'm speaking some stuff right now, spiritually, prophetically, that you and your people need to grasp, receive, hear, understand right now. All right. If you are spiritual or prophetic like I am, if you're sensitive in the spirit like I am, then you know that there's been a prophetic swirl the last few days. Something is in the air, my friend. Something is in the air. Something's happening. Something's taking place, okay? And we understand that it's a change. It's a season change. It's a season shift, all right? Ever since it became April, which was yesterday, April Fool's Day, whatever. Yeah, the, the devil is a liar. But since it became April, it's like things are up in the air. There's chaos. The spirit, it's like you feel an unsettling in the spirit. If that's you, say, that's me. You feel an unsettling in the spirit because you feel a shift. You feel a suddenly that's about to take place, all right? Listen, you got to pray in the Holy Ghost as you're listening to me, as you're listening to the word of the Lord tonight, today, wherever you're watching for, I need you to pray in the spirit because I need you to receive this and grasp this in Jesus' name. So we're feeling the shift, this prophetic swirl. We're feeling this warfare, okay, this Feel like can't talk. We're feeling this warfare and we're feeling this uh, pull, this push. Come on, push, because we just stepped into a season shift. Can I get an amen? But you see, just an hour ago, I was praying because I'm like, Lord, I'm feeling the shift. I'm feeling this warfare. I, I'm here in Hawaii, all, all right? I'm pretty much all I'm doing is I'm swimming and, and sleeping right now. I'm, I'm praying. I'm just enjoying the Lord. I'm winding down. Uh, but tomorrow we have our conference here in Hawaii. And, uh, as I'm here in Hawaii, it's a beautiful, it's paradise, but something feels, doesn't feel right in my spirit. Something feels off. Okay. I know, I know when something's off or is a disconnect. And I'm like, all right, I got to pray. I got to do something, something shifting. All right. Now hear me. This is where I'm getting to. Um, Literally, I just finished my Zoom with my 7M Glory Equip. That's my online mentorship group. And as I was preparing, as I was preparing for the teaching of the Zoom today, uh, all of a sudden, 
I was praying and all of a sudden, hear me, I saw in the spirit an angel of war. I saw the angel of war rise up from the earth. Hear me now, people of God. I saw an angel of war and a battle angel, a war angel. I saw a war angel rise up from the earth. And as I saw this war angel rise up from the earth in this vision, in this closed vision, I saw this angel of war rise up. And as I saw this battle angel, this war angel rise up, the Lord just began to download. Hear me. You got to listen to this today. The Lord began to download prophetic revelation unto me, which I'm going to share and release prophetically over you tonight. As I was praying, all of a sudden, this battle war angel rose up from the earth and the Lord encountered me and downloaded this revelation, which I'm going to prophetically release Kairos over you today, tonight in Jesus name. Now, right after I had this encounter, I get notified. Boom. Hear me now. I'm here in Hawaii. All right. Pearl Harbor is right down the street from me. Boom. As I'm praying, I, I come out of this encounter. All of a sudden I get notified 7.5 earthquake in Taiwan. Tsunami warnings in Japan. Come on, somebody. And literally, Japan is like a six-hour flight from me in Hawaii. Here's Hawaii. Here's California. Here's Hawaii. Here's Japan. So I'm here in Hawaii, and boom, 7.5 earthquake. Right as I come out of that encounter, out of that vision, there is this alarm, the notification. Remember, what did the Lord say? April, alert, alert, alarm, alarm. The red sirens are going off. 7.5 earthquake in Taiwan. The news reports, articles are saying that this is the, the most catastrophic earthquake. Oh, maybe it's a setup from China. Come on, hear me, hear me. Hear the word of the Lord. Maybe it's a setup from China, y'all. But this is the most catastrophic earthquake disaster in the nation of Taiwan in the last 25 years. 25 years. Now, isn't it a coincidence that the great red dragon of China... The CCP, that Communist Party, that Red Dragon, Leviathan Spirit. Isn't it interesting that China has been waiting to take over Taiwan? In fact, that's what people are saying. Hear me now. People are saying 2020 was Afghanistan. 2021, oh, I feel the Lord. Help me to finish. So 2021 was Ukraine. 2023 was Israel and Gaza. Now, 2024, people are saying it's going to be China and Taiwan. Welcome to Joe Biden's presidency. All right. Why am I saying this? Because as we are on the brink of a possible third world war, I mean, war's happening everywhere. That spirit of war, violence, that spirit of lawlessness with these illegal Im immigration invasion coming, the spirit of law is coming to America. It's already here in the United States. So we need to be prayed up. We need to be watchful and we need to be prayed up. The watchman, watchwoman on the wall must be set up to declare the word of the Lord. And listen, people of God, do not be offended, okay? By the truth, by the words that I'm saying today. Do not be offended and leave this broadcast, all right? Listen, if you voted for Joe Biden, it's all good. Repent, be forgiven, amen? Don't be offended with the religious political spirit. This is the truth. This is all under Joe Biden's presidency because it was a strategic puppeteer he was he's a, a puppet for the one world order all right human trafficking babies being smuggled children anyways but why am i sharing this because as i was praying i saw in the spirit a battle angel a war angel rise up from the earth and as the battle angel rose up boom earthquake in taiwan boom tsunami warnings in japan and the Lord began to speak to me, minister to me about the significance of this battle angel, of this war angel, which I'm going to release and share over you today. If you're with me today, say amen. Give us some hearts and life. Now, listen, people, like last week on my YouTube channel, I did a teaching on the 10 blessings of the Psalm 91 angel, 10 blessings of the Psalm 91 angel. I really believe. And that that night I saw the Psalm 91 angel being released. I really believe that you need to watch that because we need to get inundated with the word of the Lord, number one, but also number two, we need to be inundated with angelic assistance because hear me now, you will not make it in the end times 
without understanding the ministry of angels. You will not make it in the end times without partnering properly with the administration of the angelic host. You will not make it in these end times of shaking, of testing, of lawlessness. You will not make it in these times without partnering with God's ministering servants that are here to serve you. If you believe that, say amen. So last week I did a teaching, it's on our YouTube channel, on the 10 blessings of the Psalm 91 angel. Today, literally an hour and a half ago, I had an encounter with the war angel, with the battle angel rising up from the earth. Now I wanna, I wanna release this over you, all right? If you've been feeling some warfare, you're feeling a prophetic swirl. You know we're in a season shift. Something is not feeling right. Something is not settling right with your spirit. If that's you, say, that's me. Comment, amen. And just keep praying right now because I'm going somewhere with this today. Amen. The enemy is rampant. Rampant right now, rampant. And of course, from now to April 8th, hear me now. Hear the word of the Lord, my friends. From now to April 8th, there's going to be a lot more shaking, disasters, manifestations of the demonic underworld in the next week. Okay? In the next week, there's going to be a setup of the enemy to release more demonic intrusion, invasion, chaos from the underworld in the next week, all the way to April 8th. So you better be prayed up. You better be watching and praying in the spirit. But we also know, once again, the Lord show me the angel of war, the war angel, the battle angel rising. And I'm going to talk about this today. So as I was saying, I've been feeling this warfare. I'm, and I'm here in beautiful Hawaii, but I'm feeling unsettled. I'm, I can't shake out of, I can't really put my finger on it, but I know it's a prophetic swirl. I know there's warfare. It's a season shift. And so I'm pressing into the Lord and I'm praying. I'm like, God, what's going on? If I'm feeling it as a prophetic voice, if I'm feeling in beautiful Hawaii out of all places, if I'm feeling it, then I know it's going on all around. Ever since we stepped into April, boom, look what's going on now. But I saw this angel of war. I saw the war angel, the battle angel rise up and manifest. And boom, the 7.5 earthquake took place right at the same time, literally an hour and a half ago in Taiwan and in Japan. Listen, hear the word of the Lord, my friends. Uh, today I'm talking about the war angel. And God is releasing and assembling the war battle angels for his church all around in Jesus' name. We're gonna go to some scripture here. We're gonna go to some scripture here, praise God. All right, if you're with me today, say amen. Exodus 15.3, Exodus 15.3, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord is a man of war. So God himself is saying, I'm a man of war. Okay, now, of course, uh, today in our hippie, sleazy, cheesy, greasy, grace, American, westernized, Christianized, uh, religious world, we think we have an idea of who God is or what God is, but God says, I'm a man of war. And the Lord is saying, I'm a man of war. Don't mess with me. Don't touch my kids. Don't come near my kids. God is saying, I am a man of war. So first and foremost, the Lord is saying, the Lord is a man of war. Come on, somebody. And I don't know about you, but my Bible says he won the victory. My Bible says that he finished him. My Bible says that he's the first and the last, the beginning and the end. My Bible says, hallelujah, come on, somebody, that Jesus overcame death and Hades and has the keys of death and Hades in his hand. So every battle, every war, Jesus wins, period. That's it. If you're with me today, say amen. All right, now let's go to our next verse here. Obviously, the prophets have declared the word of the Lord as I declared uh, many months beforehand that this is a Psalm 24 year. And honestly, before any other mainstream prophet, prophetic voice, and we love and honor all of them, before any other prophetic voice declared this, the, I released it, I believe, possibly first, all right, on public streams, public channels. But here we go. Anyways, Psalm 24, the Lord said it's a Psalm 24 year. 2024 is a Psalm 24 year. So look at this, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. All right, yeah, God strong and mighty, but specifically in battle, in times of war. So God's strength is a, a, a portion, position appropriated for battle and for war. God is a 
God of war, a man of war, and he's strong and mighty in battle. Someone say amen. Lift up your heads, you gates, you ancient doors. Lift them up, the king of glory may come in. Now, gates is a military term, okay? Because gates stand for passageways, entryways for a kingdom. So this is a military kingdom mindset, okay? It's bigger than just a door or a window. This is kingdom, say kingdoms. The Bible says the kingdoms of, our, of the world will become the kingdom of our God. So we understand that the Lord is strong and mighty in battle, specifically in battle. Whatever battle you're experiencing, Rebbe, whatever battle you're experiencing, whatever shaking you're experiencing, he's strong and mighty in battle. What's the point? Jesus the point, duh. Verse number three, today I'm talking about the vision of the war angel, the angel of battle that I saw get released. God's releasing the war angel on your behalf. Next verse here, and I just pinned three different translations here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love the Psalm 46, Psalm 46, verse seven, Psalm 46, verse seven. And I'm going to read the NLT and the ESV. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. Oh, I feel the Lord. The God of Israel is our fortress. The Lord of heaven's army. So God is a God of angel armies. Lord Shaboeth, okay? Shaboeth means angel armies. So God is a God of angel armies. That's one of his names. So here in the NLT, it says the Lord of heaven's armies. Let's go here, ESV. The Lord of hosts is with us. So God is a God of angel armies and he's instructing, directing, and he's leading angel armies. Somebody say amen. Now I'm going to go to one more verse here and then I'm going to begin to preach and share what the Lord showed me and downloaded to me for you. Amen. Last verse here. Hallelujah. Psalm 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. There's deliverance coming to you in your household. This is Passover month. The month of April is the month of Pesach. We're delivered from Pharaoh. We're delivered from Egypt. We're delivered from every principality in Egypt. Let me ask you this question. Why was there 10 judgments against Egypt? Why? Because each judgment judged and destroyed and annihilated 10 gods, each god. So each judgment was towards an Egyptian deity that the Egyptian people worshiped and lifted up and declared was greater and stronger than the God of Israel, Jehovah Yahweh. All right, Adonai. The Lord, the angel of the Lord encamps around. Now that word encamps means encircled, to like a ring of fire, like a ring, which is really a portal that God of angel army encamps around you, like a circle, like a ring. Somebody say, I'm covered with a ring of angels. I'm covered with the encampment of God's host of heaven. Somebody say amen. God bless you, Nakia. I see you. Very engaged here. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm sharing all of this because literally an hour and a half ago, I saw a, a closed vision. I was praying. I said, God, something's going on in the spirit right now. Something's going on. I can't pinpoint it. I know that, I know, like I said, come on, people. Like I said earlier, I know we're in a season shift. There's a prophetic swore right now. Seems like there's warfare. Rebe did his heavy oppressive spirit in the air and the atmosphere. And I'm here in Hawaii right now. And I'm like, Lord, what, what is going on right now? All right, things feel like it's unsettled. It's, there's a restlessness in the spirit. It feels like things are up in the air. It's, it's like it's hanging in the balance. And then as I was praying today, I was praying, I saw a closed vision of a war angel, battle angel, rising up from the earth. Somebody say amen, rising up from the earth. And then boom, right when I came out of that vision, I saw notification, bam, 7.5 earthquake in Taiwan, tsunami warning, sirens going off in Japan. Hear the word of the Lord, my friends. The Lord says that he is raising up and releasing war angels on your behalf. There are battle angels that are going to go forward, go for you, go forth. There are battle war angels that are being sent out to protect God's children, to protect the church. Amen. As I saw this war angel rise up, hear me. There was a release of an upgrade of heavily, heavenly armament 
equipment and artillery, weapons. So as the angel of the Lord rose up, went up to fight for you, to battle for you, to defend you, to protect you. As the angel of the Lord rose up from the earth, I saw there was also a release of new upgrades of heavenly armament, equipment, and artillery. And the Lord said he is releasing new heavenly garments, new glory garments, new upgrades of armor, of spiritual weapons. And the Lord said there's going to be, come on, I, I, I want you to keep praying in the spirit. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Help the prophet minister tonight, please. Help the prophet minister tonight. Help me to finish this word of the Lord. Your engagement, your hearts and likes, it helps the flow. Because for me, it's like a spirit of unity. And it's a spirit of connectivity and engagement. Somebody say, it's the amens and the amen, brother, and the claps and the hallelujahs that we got in the corporate church setting. Amen. So as the armor is being upgraded, as there's weapons and artillery being upgraded, the Lord said, there's an upgrade, say upgrade, there's an upgrade of wisdom, there's an upgrade of understanding, there's an upgrade of discernment that's coming. There's going to be downloads of dreams and visions even in the next few days, says God. So there's an upgrade where there's an exposure of the plots and plans of the enemy. So God is beginning to upgrade in your life heavenly garments, armaments, artillery, and weapons, for it is an upgrade of wisdom. And then as I saw these releases of these upgrades of heavenly armament, artillery, weapons, sha! and as I saw the angel of the Lord rise up, the Lord says there's three areas that the enemy is attacking right now. Hear me now. Number one, the enemy is attacking finances, the realm of finances. Many people right now, we understand there's a crash of the U.S. dollar that's happening, it's coming all right, reports are saying the U.S. dollar has lost 20% of its purchasing power in the last four years. Welcome to Bidenomics. Welcome to Joe Biden. This is all a strategic, demonic device plan of division and destruction of America. So here we see, bam, there's an attack on finances, inflation, groceries, gas. What's going on all around the world? Are you kidding me? All right, so there's an attack against finances that's taking place. Do you know why? Because it's called the curse of the earth. It's called the curse of Adam, but it's also called the curse of disobedience. Deuteronomy 28. If you disobey the Lord, then your land, agriculture, harvest, crops will be nada, zero, nothing, nilch. It will become nothing. So we see there's an attack because the locusts have been released. The locusts have been released. It, it's a curse, my friends. The grasshoppers, canker worms, palmer worms, the worms. The locusts have been released on the earth in America. So the enemy is strategically after your finances, destroying the economy, amen, so that more people, hear me now, will be in debt, will be stressed, will be in bondage, enslaved to banks, to credit cards, that you will go bankrupt, Huh? Come on, somebody. Rebbe, but God is going to restore the wealth. He's going to bring the wealth of the wicked to you. There's going to be a restoration coming to the church of Jesus Christ. Those who truly hear, discern the word of the Lord and obey the Holy Ghost, you will prosper like never before. Somebody say amen. I want you to say, I'm prospering from glory to glory, from level, level, faith to faith. So the first attack of the enemy right now that's taking place. Hear me. Hear me, people of God. It is finances. Number two, it's the mind. This mind-binding spirit, this octopus, marine, leviathan spirit is so gruesome. I am so sick and tired of the slimy, slithery, disgusting octopus, marine spirit, this mind-binding spirit. I'm so tired of this that's trying to depress and oppress God's people. The spirit of anxiety has got to go. That is from the pit of hell. That is alive the enemy. That, de that deceiving, conniving, manipulative witchcraft spirit. Now, I want you to hear me. Because in the prophetic word of the month of April. All right, if you follow me, you know every month the Lord gives me a word to declare. Cha! Release over God's people. And uh, in and I released that last week. You can watch that. But in, in the prophetic word of the month for April... The Lord showed me a vision. He showed me a vision of a dark mist, like a dark spray going out. And this dark spray, this dark mist was like a spell and incantation from the witchcraft realm. This dark mist was like a spell, incantation, a hex vex. It was like 
Rubo, it was like an incense of demonic satanic worship that was being released. And the Lord said pharmakeia. The Lord said witchcraft. The Lord said they're trying to release another Corona Bologna. There's something in the air, in the atmosphere that the enemy is releasing. I need you to hear this. So the Lord showed me that and I began to pray against it and release the word of the Lord uh, that we must watch and pray and destroy that plant, plan, plant, that plot, plan, and tactic of the enemy. If you're with me today, say amen. But number two, the enemy is after your mind. How many of you, you've been battling something in your mind? You feel unsettled. You feel all over the place. You feel a little cray cray. It reminds me. Come on, people. Go, all right, let me just get this straight. All right. COVID-19. It reminds me of this. And I'm just getting to come from it. There it is. It reminds me of this. Remember when Corona Bologna happened? All right. Remember when COVID took place? All right. I, I was a pastor. I was pastoring and our church boomed that time. We never closed once. But when COVID happened, the whole world was in a hoopla. I mean, I mean, the whole world stopped literally. And remember the stress, the anxiety that took place during COVID. Do we shut down? Do we open? What do we do? These new mandates, these, all these new restrictions. They're not laws. They're restrictions and they're mandates, okay? But remember when all that began to take place. When all that began to take place, how many of you, you were so stressed out? And that's what the medium, medium lying spirits do. They're trying to... Uh, they're trying to weaken your body and your immune system by distracting you with a spirit of fear, that spirit of witchcraft. And when that began to take place in 2020, um, it's like every day, all right, we're all on the tippy toes. Every day, it's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? It's like burning me out, dude. And who remembers that, right? It was, it was frying our brains. It was burning us out. It was just like mind-binding spirits. Hear me now. The Lord said what's happening right now, April 2024, is the same type of scenario as January 2020. Why? Because 2020 was a leap year. This year, 2024, is also a leap year. Joe Biden and Donald Trump were the presidential candidates of America 2020. 2024, Joe Biden and Donald J. Trump. Again, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, San Francisco 49ers at the Super Bowl 2020, same in 2024. It is an exact mirroring of what's happening in 2020. Hear me now, my friends. God is releasing the blood of Jesus on the doorposts of our minds and at the sides of our heart. This month of Passover, the angel of death will not touch you. This month of Passover, the angel of death will pass by, will go by, and you will pass over. This month, that angel of death will not even come near you, near your house, or right, near your mind. Why? Because the blood of Jesus covers you. His blood speaks a better word. Somebody say amen. So the second area of attack, the enemy's releasing, attacking. It is the mind. My friends, he has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. If you believe that, say amen. So number one, the first area of attack is finances. Number two, it's the mind. Now, number three, my friends, if you're with me today, say amen. Keep building the room. I believe we could break 200 mark today. But the third area of attack the Lord showed me is health. Okay, listen. Just today. Just today. All right. And this is uh, April 2nd, 2024. That I'm releasing this in Hawaii. It's almost 6 p.m. Just today, there are three people in our inner circle that passed onto glory. That passed. That died. Just today. I'm hearing reports of people passing, people dying. Literally in the last few days and the last week. People are dying. People are going home. There's a shift. There's a changing of the guard that's taking place even in the last few days to the last week. But there's been a major attack on health. I just finished uh, my Zoom meeting with my group mentorship. And two people, two people, that's way too many said in the last week, we just got out of a crazy car accident. The enemy is releasing the spirit of chaos, lawlessness, confusion, so that even the vehicles, look at what's going on with the cargo ships. Come on, guys, airplanes. Pilots are dying, cardiac arrest, because they got jabs and boosters. What's going on, right? I mean, plane crashes. Guys, hello, are you waking up? 
What is going on in Waldo's world? Hallelujah. What is going what the heck is going on in Waldo's world? Planes, boats, car crashes. Choo. There's a spirit of infirmity, death, that is being released to attack people's health. But the blood of Jesus is greater. His blood is stronger. We plead the blood of Jesus. We bind every attack, witchcraft and torment, off of your life, off of your body in Jesus' name. The Lord is going to break off that octopus mind-binding tentacle grabbing. He's going to break off that marine leviathan slimy slithering serpent spirit in the name of jesus it shall not hold you it shall not come near you it shall not touch you these are three areas the enemy is attacking right now if that bears witness with you say amen if you're saying dr ben i can relate to one of those or all three say that to me but friends there's an angel of war being released an angel of war. Friends, listen, we got to pray for London. Bridges are falling down, all right? London Bridge is falling down. We got to pray for London and UK. I'm telling you, the United Kingdom, in a sense, is the last beacon of democracy and democratic hope, in a sense, in Europe. And is an ally to the United States. So we need to pray for London and for the UK because I've been hearing in my spirit, London Bridge is falling down. London Bridge is falling down. And of course, what, a year or two years ago, the Queen of England just passed and now the reports have come forth. Princess Kate has cancer. But people of God, I saw this angel of war rising up and I listed these verses because they encamp around you. And I believe specifically the Lord is releasing these angel, angels of war and battle on your behalf to protect you, to guide you, to defend you, to destroy the works of the enemy. Friends, I'm telling you, this is a serious week. This is a serious month. And it's Passover month. We understand it's the beginning of the year. It's one of the beginnings. It's one of the heads of the year. For Israel, it's when Israel became a nation. They were delivered out of Egypt. God's delivering you from Egypt. God's delivering you from the hands of Pharaoh. And God is judging the 10 principalities of Egypt. And God is gonna release you with seven times recompense. The Bible says when the Israelites left Egypt, they left swiftly, quickly, expediently. It's going to be fast, my friends. Quick miracles, quick turnaround, instant miracles, instant glory, instant deliverance. It's going to happen quickly in Jesus' name. Bam! In Je it's going to happen quickly in Jesus' name. But also, what took place? The Bible says, God commanded the Israelites, turn to your Egyptian neighbor. <laughs> turn to your neighbor and say, hey, give me your wallet. It's called recompense. Silk, gold, silver, scarlet. It's called recompense. When they left Egypt, they did not leave empty-handed. They left with recompense. They left with bags of plunder, bags of overflow. That's what's happening this month in April. Stay prayed up, my friends. Be prayed up. Be on guard. Be watching. Because God is releasing, raising up angels of war, angels of battle to defend you, to fight the spiritual oppressive spirit, the spirit of warfare. Amen. But victory belongs to Jesus. And let me tell you, this month in April, we're going to see great turnaround, great miracles, Passover miracles for you and your family. If you believe that, say amen. Listen, I want you to begin to pray right now. Come on. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Father, I declare right now, deliverance and breakthrough. No mind-binding spirits will touch you, hold you back. In Jesus' name, I declare every familiar spirit is bound and broken off of their lives. I speak health. I speak angels of protection. Guardian angels to be all around them, protect their vehicles, their possessions, their houses, their lands, their properties, their family members. I declare even your pets 
are protected under the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you that this is a season of separation, divine separation, says God, where he is separating the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tare, the Egyptians from the Israelites. He is, shit, that's right, bang, bang, he is separating. He is beginning to shift and separate. And there are Passover miracles that will take place. Get ready for God to split the Red Sea in half for you. The Red Sea that was split. Even as the body of Jesus was split. Even as the veil was split. God is about to part some things. He's about to separate some things. He's about to make a way. But you must be covered under the blood. The Bible says that one lamb, one unblemished Holy, pure, spotless, blameless, pure lamb per family, per household. What does that mean? That means that there's family salvation taking place. That means there's going to be family miracles. That means that as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. That means that prodigals are returning to Jesus. One lamb per family. One lamb. Your family will partake of the lamb of God. Your family will see the beauty and the glory of God. Somebody say amen. Somebody say my family. Your family will see the beauty and the glory of the lamb of God. Behold, I saw a lamb sitting on the throne. Are you ready to see the hand of deliverance? God. God is, eh, God is delivering you from the spirit of fear, from the spirit of Egypt, from the spirit of Pharaoh. Let my people go, says God. Let my people go in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you believe it, say amen. Give us some hearts and lights. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Well, friends, listen, I'm going to close today. I want you to share this broadcast. And consider following me here, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. But alert, alert, my friends. Alert, alert. It's time to watch and pray. It's time to watch and pray. Amen. Listen, um, our next Zoom webinar is going to be April 15th. And we're going to talk about Passover miracles. Extensive teaching. Oh, I feel the Lord. Extensive teaching. Passover is so important. And hear me now. From Passover to Rosh Hashanah. The, the beginning of the year, the new Hebrew year, we're, it's literally going to be about six months away now. So we're already about halfway done with 5784. Think about that. We're almost going to be in 5785. So get in the glory, get in line with God's teachings, honor his appointed times, the biblical covenant feasts. These time portals, I call them time portals because these are times of acceleration and harvest. Um, but of course, Passover is coming up. I'm going to do an extensive deep teaching on Passover miracles. And this Zoom webinar is free, but you must register on our website. All right. And there's going to be prayer and ministry and the power of God's going to flow. And I've pinned it to the chat group here. If you're interested or joining, just comment interested or joining. And I would love to see you there. This April 20, listen, this is a very important month. And you know how God speaks to me? Sometimes he speaks to me through letters and words. Or of course the Bible talks about the power of first mention. So the first letter of the first letter of April is A. This is like the first month. It's a first month. It's a prototype month. All right, as the first month of April, A, A for the alphabet, A, B, C, D, as the first letter, first month goes, there's going to be a shift. Um, so join me, friends. People saying joining, interested, awesome, awesome. Yeah, get into glory, Passover miracles. The Zoom webinar is free, but you must register on our website. Amen. People of God, I'm ministering in Hawaii this week. I'm here in Oahu. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, oh wow, three days straight. Then Saturday and Sunday, I'll be ministering in Kona, Hawaii. Then next week, I will be in Dallas, Texas. Y'all, y'all, let's get some good Texan barbecue, y'all. Next week, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas. I'm very excited about that. I believe those meetings are going to be phenomenal. So if you're in the Texas area, the great state of Texas, come on. Let's go Tejas. Let's go Longhorns, all right? If you're, gonna, if you're in the state of Texas, come and see me. I would love to see you all. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Love you guys, all right? Consider becoming a monthly. I'm not taking up an offering tonight, even though I could, but 
I don't feel like it. I don't feel like the Lord wants me to. But consider becoming a monthly financial partner with this ministry, Benlin Ministries. Uh, we are a global ministry. We're a global ministry of miracles. And not only do we prophesy, teach, and equip God's people through uh, social media and media platforms, which is very important, but I always love to be hands-on and to be in person with God's people, all right? I still believe in on the laying on of hands. I still believe in casting out devils, amen? Yes, the glory knows no bounds, no boundaries, but nothing will ever, uh, nothing will ever uh, substitute the corporate gathering of the ecclesia of the saints. So next week, I'll be in Dallas, Texas. I hope to see you. Love you all. God bless you. I'll see you soon.